everybody, it's Steve from B&H Photo, and I'm here with Kendall Ekman of Black Magic Design. Kendall, thanks for taking the sure, time. No problem. We're going to talk about the new Ursa Mini, which comes with four different options. That's right. We have a 4K sensor and PL and EF mount, so you get 12 stops of dynamic range with that. And then we have a 4.6K sensor you can get with it, PL and EF again, and that'll get you 15 stops of dynamic range. All of those can go up to 60 frames a second. And that's non-interchangeable. I buy the camera, I get the camera I got. That's right. It's a little different than the original or so it's going to be fixed, yeah, with the sensor. We'll get to that in a minute. Okay. So it's smaller, similar, but a nicer form factor. It seems more, more designed for handheld shooting. It is. More portable. Uh, they made it five pounds, so you can lug that around. And, I appreciate uh, that more yeah. than the 16 of the original. Exactly. Yeah, you can go around and you can hold it here. You can get it on your shoulder. Much more portable handheld, like you said. Music videos. This, this is built in now? It, well, uh, no. What This is an add-on piece. So okay. you get, there's three pieces that come with this. And if we're we going to turn this around. We're well, going to spin it around here a little bit just so you can see the uh, the handle. So what happens is when you get the get to the camera itself, you get this handle here with the record button on it. Which shouldn't go here. That's right. So we have rosettes built into the camera. You can move this around. And then when you add on the shoulder mount, you get the uh, extension arm here with the rosettes built into it. You also get the top handle. So these three pieces come as an add-on. I see you've moved the XLRs to the top. That's right. Which is great, especially with some right angle adapters. It can be really, really useful. And we have our play controls here. And yep. our, I'm going to just jump this open here. Sure. And then similar to the original larger Ursa. Five inch touch screen here. Yep, 1920 by 1080. So all that's in there, dive into the menus there, and then of course you can get your video output there. Uh, see fast card recording, just like the original Ursa. If one of the cards fills up, it'll automatically switch over to the other card. The infamous relay recording. Exactly. Ubiquitous, I should say. And then, but with the camera now, there's a new, there's a viewfinder. That that's comes, right. That's an additional. It, it is an addition. You can add this on the original Ursa, or of course on the Mini. Uh, it has optical glass in it. It's 1920 by 1080, full HD. Yeah, when you were stepped away, I took a peek. It's very sharp. Is it? Yeah, it's really yeah, clear. I heard that. It's, yeah, it's, it's very nice. Almost better than the human eye, in a sense. Uh, you can pull up focus charts, focus peaking in here. It's really nice. And we should mention that this is the Ursa Mini, four different configurations. But if you have already, if you already have an Ursa or you get a new one, yeah. there are upgrade paths for that too. There is. So we originally launched the uh, Ursa camera last year. We said there'd be a usable upgrade sensor in there. We've come to that point now where you. Can and we kind of all thought you meant the Ursa with the cheese plate, and you would just change the camera that mounted on top. But you did mean something different. No, just the sensor inside. So there's four bolts. You can pull out the sensor. You can add in that 4.6K sensor now to get to 15 stops of dynamic range. And you have two mount choices with that, yes? We do, we have PL and EF. So that's really cool, but if you, you can't just change the PL mount to an EF, can you? You, you could at this point. If at you were going to do the upgrade, yeah. If you have the EF, you want to go to PL, you could do that. We don't necessarily want customers switching you know, week to week and going back and forth. It's not really set up for that. But at this point, if you wanted to switch from EF to PL, you could do that. That's really cool yeah. to find out. So. It's almost like getting a brand new Ursa camera, 4.6K instead of 4. It is, and they've also done a firmware update. You get up to 120 frames a second in that camera now. Yeah, That's sweet. Yeah. Well, Kendall, thanks a lot for sure. spending the time with us. No problem. And thanks for watching.